It seems that over time, as technology has improved and we've separated ourselves from the people around us, we've pushed them away and dived headfirst into separating ourselves from the world around us and the social interactions, especially for those of us that are very in extroverted. This could probably affect you more. But we're always seeking that sense of newness, of a new experience, of having to have the best thing, having to have the best or newest technology, the newest phone, the newest of anything. And we get caught up in this repetition of, in this cycle of having more, having new that we lose sense and lose touch of what we had and being happy with what we have at the moment and being fulfilled and content with the things that you've worked for so far. Always looking forward to the next big thing, the next step of achieving more, of achieving more fame, popularity, of being more successful in the eyes of those around us that are seeking the same thing always flipping through our phones, looking through everything, always trying to find something new to excite us, to try to fulfill that void that we have in our life because we aren't happy and content with ourselves. Always something to stimulate our mind and distract us from the thoughts that we have to face, to try to cover them up and to make them as something that's completely washed out just sitting there as things just wash away. I remember a time when I was younger, walking along the beach, and I'd see the waves crash and come across the sand, and the marks that I made in the sand would quickly and soon be washed away. And I would try to write something new in the sand for it to only be washed away again. It's similar to this perspective that we have today of always having to have something new, having to have more, and to constantly have to keep putting more and more work into it while the waves keep crashing and washing it all away. At what point do you think that maybe it's time to just be happy and content with what you've got? Maybe by appreciating what you have, you won't have to try to seek out so much more in the world to fulfill that void within you. Trying to find something to make you happy. And it's never satisfied, it's never fulfilled. You just keep trying to fill that. Trying to run from your problems and not face the thoughts that you have. Any of the problems that you've had throughout your life to this point, you try to just push them aside, separate everything, and use technology and this newness feeling. And it, not only with technology, it could be anything. A new car, new house, new friends, new relationships. We're discarding and replacing things as if it has no value. And this goes beyond materials. I see people doing this with their friends, their family, their relationships and things that they have in life. Quickly discarding it and moving on to the next thing, thinking that the next thing will be of better fulfillment, but it's better. Yet to only do the same thing in this next friendship or the next relationship they have, always trying to get more and more. And then after a long, period of life to where they keep replacing friends as fast as they replace their smartphones, they end up alone. Not that being alone is bad, but in the sense of someone that relies on others for fulfillment, they're alone in that sense. And they can't be happy without the presence of other people to feel that emptiness in themselves because they're not content and 
who they are and what they're doing. Always trying to have more. Always trying to have better. And how long will this go on before you're satisfied? And eventually, it constantly takes more and more to make them happy. To the point that nothing can make them happy. They're always stressed, angry, negative, just not happy with life. No matter what comes their way, what anybody does for them, and these friendships they try to form and make with people, never really turns out. It never ends up being anything that is memorable, that they can look back on and cherish or to be happy with the moments that they spent with another person, another family member. They're always looking forward to the next best thing. But can it really go on just replacing friends and people and discarding them to try to find something better? It's just a reflection of yourself because you don't want to face your own problems, so you're putting these problems on other people and discarding your problems with them along the way. Thinking that by dumping your problems on them and pushing your problems on everybody else that maybe the problems will go away. Maybe the thoughts will stop. Maybe the memories will end and they'll finally be happy, but that's not how it goes. And that's not how it ends. You have to face what's bothering you. Learn to face things from within. Sometimes isolation and having time to think about yourself and who you are and what you're doing with your life can be very important. So as you continue doing this and trying to find the next best thing, take a moment to reflect and think about what you've got right now. Think of the times when you were younger or a point before when you had so much less than what you have now. Reflect on that and think of the moment of when you would be so happy to have what you've got, how much you would sacrifice and give up to be in the position that you are now. And now that you're in this position, you forgot where you came from. You forgot all the work that you put into it to get to where you are now. You've lost touch of you. And you keep trying to find more, more out there. Well, that happiness lies within yourself. It's there and maybe deep within inside your mind, but it's always been there. You'll discover it in time. So be happy with what you've got. Reflect on that and know that no matter how much you try to find happiness in the external world, it's up to you to reflect and find the happiness from within.